So it's not for least. Uh, you can take your time, but not too long either. Thank you, Max. <laughs> My name is Silvita Jagar and I am honoured to accept this award. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, Lao Tzu. In 2003, September, my previous life came to a complete and utter end. I was very academic, a lawyer working and living in the city of London. I sustained very serious injuries in a road traffic accident, namely a ruptured aorta, a substantial brain injury, hemorrhage, mild stroke, vestibular problems, punctured lung, broken rib cage, dislocated shoulder, whiplash, badly broken leg, which was nearly amputated, teeth were very badly damaged, and third nerve palsy in my right eye. I think that's all, I think. <laughs> and my parents were given a very bleak prognosis at that time. Psychologically, as well as physically, it was very tough because bones mend, but a head injury is something completely different. I have memory, cognitive functioning and fatigue issues, but I've learned to manage these very well and get on with life. Initially, I lost all my independence. I had to relearn a lot of things, from making a cup of tea, to walking in a straight line, to speaking coherently. Over the years, I've had my moments. Uh, but I was introduced to Headway. It's a day centre for people that have brain injuries. They assisted me and taught me a lot about coping mechanisms and how to move forward. They introduced me to the world of hospital radio. I've been at Radio Fox at the Leicester Royal Infirmary since 2006 and have this year received an award for Best Female Presenter 2016. And there were lots of entries and I've received other nominations and awards over the years. I've also presented at other local various radio stations, some television presenting, voiceover work, comparing, acting and some modelling. Very slowly, over the past 12 and a half years, I've been taking baby steps to get to where I am now. The medical team have described my recovery as a miracle. It's been very difficult over the years. The physical pain, psychological, my status completely changing in society from being a high-flying lawyer to being a disabled person it was very difficult. And um, there's a lot of things I couldn't do and there's a lot of difficulties faced by my family and those around me as well. But I've decided to focus on what I can do and I'm extremely grateful to God that I have my life and have this opportunity to do all the things that I've ever dreamt of doing. And I honestly believe it's only because we are truly strong enough to deal with things that we are, give, we are dealt such a hand in life. Because God would never have given me anything to deal with that I couldn't handle. And I'm here today with Vaigaruji's grace, by my own resolve, determination, hard work and perseverance, just like Leicester City Football Club. And honestly, not everyone does understand. But all I ask is for love and understanding. And the support, most importantly, the support from all of those around me, my family, relatives, friends, and organizations, such as Headway, such as Radio Fox, and the theatre healing community. And it's not always easy, but we are getting there. And I've learned that, I've learned how to live around my limitations, because God has a greater purpose in life for me, which is to make a difference. I'm embarking on a career in the media and I wish to go into every day with vitality and vigour as I'm truly blessed to be given a second chance. I wish to be inspirational to everybody around me, particularly people who have difficulties, because don't listen to what you cannot do, just focus on your strengths instead. That's what I have to do. And I want others to know if I can get up and do it, so can you. There should be a book out later this year, hopefully, and it's called Turning It Round. And it's basically about people who've had to deal with very adverse circumstances in their lives and turn them around positively. And my story is also featured in this book. And now, I've been in various media over the years, but I've been recognised by the Ram Video Council UK. And this means a lot to me. It's very heartwarming and very encouraging. I feel very humbled and honoured that the Rangaria Council UK has recognised the difficulties I've had to overcome to achieve the level of success I have done so far. My limitations are not always visible, so don't, people don't always appreciate um, 
the difficulties faced in carrying out very simple everyday tasks. So let's all be a little bit more open and understanding of things like this. And the fact that the Asian community, and particularly my own community, has recognised me gives me a renewed sense of hope. I think society are generally too quick to judge and pigeonhole people, and I'm very much of the view, if you really want to do something, nothing can stop you. Sirvai Guji Ka Khalsa, Sirvai Guji Ki Thank you, Talvinda. Very inspiring speech.